All right, this tutorial is going to show how to access geolocate and the different tools that are um, available within it to help you georeference your specimen. So we're going to start here on any specimen page and scroll down to this location section and hit edit right here in the top corner. It'll take you to this page. Um, and once you're here, you can actually access geolocate in a couple of different ways. The first one is with the fork edit tool. Um, there's a whole nother tutorial on the fork edit tool, um, but for right now, we're just going to click that. And you can fill in all your information as needed, but over here on the right is the geolocate section. So once you click georeference with geolocate down here, it will um, georeference based on your specific locality, which I'm actually going to change. Okay. You're going to click georeference, and it will bring you to this map. So to start, um, it will kind of guess where it thinks your location is. Um, it's usually wrong the first time, but you can easily change it. Um, if it kind of thinks there's a couple of different options that your location could be, it's not really sure which one, it will list a couple of possible locations. In this case, there's only one. Um, and you can also change the base layer of your map if you want to see the satellite, or you can just see the streets, you can do a hybrid, whatever you prefer, depending on what you're um, looking for. So for my georeference here, I'm doing the county line near Glencoe. So I'm going to move this marker. You can just move it to wherever it needs to go. So right here on the county line. Um, since no georeference is ever going to be perfect, we have this uncertainty radius that you can um, change the size of depending on the protocol that you're following. So once again, just click back at the marker, edit uncertainty, and you can move this however it needs to go. All right, and if you're looking at historical specimens, you can come over to this um, pane again and click historical USGS topo. This is a great tool. Um, you just click where you wanna look for a map and it will show all of the historical maps that are available for that area. So let's look at this one. You can change the opacity of it if you wanna see more of the map, less of the map, whatever. Um, so this map just kind of tells me that this boundary line or this county line has not changed um, since it, the specimen was collected. So we can get rid of that. Um, there's also, you can place your own marker if you don't wanna have to drag this one around. Just click that. Let me put one over there, drag that one back over there. Um, you can also measure, there's a measure tool if um, like a location is a couple miles away from a named location or something like that. Um, and then once you're happy with your georeference spot, you can save your application. You don't want to click georeference um, because that will start back over and it will georeference this spot again. It'll bring it back down to this incorrect um, spot right here. Also, if you come back to these possible ones, you can remove these secondary points so that they aren't within your georeference. Okay, save to your application. And it will say we've got all the latitude and longitude down here. If at one, at one point you realize you want to change the um, radius or anything like that, you can click modify coordinates and this will bring you back to this georeference that you just did. It won't start over from the beginning. Also, if you're, you want to get rid of the georeference, you um, can just click D georeference and it'll just get rid of all of this and the specimen won't be attached to any location. All right, and then when you're finished with that, come down here, a couple options here, and then just click Save Changes. And then close out of that. If you refresh the page, there's your georeference. So the second way to um, get to geolocate back in this location edit, you're gonna come over here to locality. So I would use this um, method if you just wanna change the locality, you don't wanna edit any other information about the specimen. Also, if you have a couple of specimens attached to one location and you wanna change the locality for all of the specimens, you can do it from over here. So you'll just come over here, click edit locality and it will bring you to this page. So it's got the same um, boxes, specific locality, locality remarks, all of that. And your georeference is gonna be over here. Scroll down to the bottom, georeference with geolocate down here, bring you to the same map, all of the same tools, same way of using it. 
Um, so once you're done, save your application, and then you'll just want to hit save edits. And then go back, refresh, and your new geo, geo reference will be right here.